Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. It's Wednesday, hump day, and we're ready to bring you all the action. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. Griffin is out there with Plumlee, and it's Rose. Then there's Jeremy Grant, and it's Jackson in at the shooting guard. And for San Antonio, we've got Murray. Aldridge out there with DeRozan. Then there's Derek White, and it's Johnson in at the three slot. And the Spurs start out with the ball. Murray with it. DeRozan passes to Aldridge. Outside, White. Pass to DeRozan. Just five on the clock. Plumley with the rebound. Here's Rose. Shoots from the line, and he hits the jump shot. Boy, you look at Rose, and you just love the imagination he brings to his offensive game. You know, this guy is constantly pushing the boundaries of his um, basketball ability. Here's the teardrop, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And many have criticized the Rosen in the past for not being as aggressive with the three-point shot. But I think that's only because he's a guy at that wing position that's kind of a throwback, an old school player, if you will. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that, Greg. I mean, shooting two. he wanted to shoot the three because people were trying to encourage him to do so. But his strength is his mid-range game. And it is old school. It's a bit back to the future, but it's reliable and it's effective for him. The first free throw is good. How about this, fellas? I mean, DeRozan's aerial skills, his bounce, obvious from a very young age. His first dunk came when he was in the sixth grade, and he won the dunk contest at the high school All-American game. Major bounce. Both free throws good from DeRozan. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Now the Pistons with it, and let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Greg Popovich and I did speak a few minutes ago. This is their second meeting with this team. The first one didn't go as well as they'd like, so this time around, they're going to try to close the lane off, push drivers and slashers as far away from the basket as possible. We'll see how that goes, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. Here's DeRozan after the basket by Detroit. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. You know, the athleticism is obvious when you look at DeRozan's game, but he also has tremendous strength and wasn't much the defender could do there. Now here's Rose. We saw him with 39 points last game out. Griffin looking around. Throws it up high, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Now DeRozan. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Inside, Aldrin laid in with a nice touch off the glass. You know, that's a veteran play. DeRozan stays open to all possibilities. That's seeing the game in front of you. Excellent find. Now here's Rose. And he can certainly fill it up when they need him to. He's averaging almost 21 points a game. Over Murray. Rose, no good. The Spurs have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Pass to DeRozan. Teardrop shot, and he sinks the layup. DeRozan's got 6. You know, they'll put the ball in DeRozan's hands and run the pick and roll all day long. He's phenomenal at getting good shots in that set. Outside Rose. Passes to Jackson. Shoots. That one off the back iron and out. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. 
Well, he is looking confident. I love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And it's Murray with the jam. Murray, you give him that type of opportunity, you're asking for trouble. He is a strong finisher. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Rose surveying the D. It's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. Let's see some of the numbers here for Derrick Rose. Outside Jackson. And the three off target. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Mason Plumley. This is something DeRozan does all too well. I mean, presses the issue, forces the issue, and then gets the defense to overcommit. The Spurs have gone two for two in the game at the line. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board, 77% collectively. You know, the numbers from the line, guys, are close to where they were last year. Uh, but just a tad worse, so not too bad. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Both free throws good from DeRozan. And Detroit has possession. Six-point game. Their last encounter was in Detroit. And whether by design or by accident, they drew so many fouls in that game. Foul trouble for the other side became a huge issue. And as a result, there was a blowout win. I mean, credit them for initiating contact and forcing the officials to make the call. Now DeRozan after Josh Jackson's three-pointer that didn't go. On the wing, Johnson, he's covered by Grant. Shot clock at five. Pistons trail by six. Let's it go. And it's White with the rebound. Johnson, the pass to Aldridge. Yep, it counts. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. Back to Rose. Outside for Jackson. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. Well, it's really tough to wrap Jackson up. I mean, when he's looking to score, he bullies his way through the contact, and he's athletic enough to jump over contact at times, too. Stolen by Rhodes. Here's Grant, and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Grant's got six. Spurs leading by four. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game.
so San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. And a different look here for the Pistons. And the Spurs with possession. They lead by four. Mills with it. Now Okafor defending. Shot clock at six. Here's Vassell. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Right dishes to Griffin. Gay with the block. Gay using his reach and bounce to perfection to block the shot. Griffin against Gay. There's the pass to Hayes. Detroit getting another chance here. And it's Okafor missing. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the Spurs. Six-point game. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I, I think they were shocked. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything joined against you. Very frustrating. Here's Wright after Rudy Gay's bucket. Pass to Okafor. Over Pirtle. Okafor, the pass to Mikhailu. Three-pointer right. A shot that time, not on target. And the Spurs going the other way now. Here's Mills. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. The 15-footer. Here's Okafor, and Okafor slams it in. Yeah, that aggressiveness of Okafor on the glass, a high percentage score when he gets a second chance opportunity. Now here's Mills, defended by Griffin. Pass to Purdy. Back to Mills. Shoots from the elbow. It's rebounded by Hayes. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Count it. And just the sheer power of Griffin, one of the best finishers in the league after contact. Here's Vassell. Coming in off a 10-point performance last game out. Passes it to Mills. Here's Lyles. He kicks it to Gay. The shot from the low post is good. And the Spurs lead by four. And, you know, really nothing you can do there. Sometimes Gay makes tough, contested shots look easy. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. Let's use this break in the action to show you the teams that in the last 10 games have been the NBA's best fast break teams. The Pistons second. I mean, tough to maintain this kind of pace over an entire season. But let me tell you, they are really running right now. 
106 left to play in the first. Right, the pass to McCarlow. Outside Griffin. The feed to Okafor. Griffin trying to get open. And Pirtles sends it back. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major. Not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. And he drops it in from the low post. And now a six-point Spurs lead. Really amazing body control by Pirtle. Just taking the hit head-on and finishing through the contact. I love it. There's 25 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Griffin. Count the basket. Griffin's got his second bucket tonight. It was all about his athleticism when Griffin first came into the league, but it didn't take long to see he was about a lot more than that. He, he's got serious skills down low. Mills looking it over. There's the triple. That shot, no good. And so it's DeMar DeRozan making highlights for the San Antonio Spurs. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for San Antonio. Really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys. Another thing they've been doing so far tonight is knocking down the jump shot. Pistons trail by four. We've got DeRozan. Rudy Gay is out there with Pirtle, and it's Mills, and it's Vassell in at the two. So that's who San Antonio starts the second with. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. The Pistons shooting their first free throw tonight. And it's Mills with the ball for the Spurs. Gay outside. The pass to Vassell. Here's Mills. Shoots. And another basket for San Antonio. Pistons trail by three. And here's Hayes. Outside Griffin. good and it's his fourth basket of the game he's a strong four for six not much resistance from the defense easy play that time for him pass to DeRozan down low now here's Mills he's coming off a 10 point game against Dallas nice shot by Purtle Gotta admire how fast Pirtle slashes to the rim after setting the screen. A tight game here in San Antonio. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Pass to Hayes. Back to Griffin. And the slam by Blake Griffin. And that's the trademark Griffin finish. Get in tight, elevate, and throw it down with authority. Big fella is a beast down low. DeRozan gets the bucket. And, and his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And, and team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major. It could be just a slight tweak.
Both teams will make substitutions. A chance now to check out how the All-Star voting is shaping up. And I tell you, the excitement starting to ratchet up a little bit as the tallies start coming in. You look at Derrick Rose. He's not too far away from a spot in the starting five. A lot of votes have been coming his way. And even if he doesn't get the fan votes he needs to become a starter, you have to believe he'll be a part of the Eastern Conference All-Star team. And we'll keep you posted as the voting continues. San Antonio leading by three. And it's Murray penetrating. And he uses the glass on the layup. Murray's got his second basket of the game. Murray is a spectacular talent. And when he gets going, watch out. Rose passes to Grant. And Plumley kicks to Okafer. Down to five on the shot clock. Second shot opportunity. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Murray. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. The emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And they get it back. Yep, that one goes. Plumley's got his first points of the game. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Outside rows. This is it to Okafor. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose, a very solid floor general. I think that's an underrated part of his game. He's excellent at finding his teammates. White dishes to Murray. Johnson against Grant. Here's Murray. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. Murray's got six. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. And there's the pass to Okafor. Goes back up. No good on that one. Aldridge with some nice deep. And it's DeRozan with the ball for San Antonio. Three-point lead. Johnson kicks to DeRozan. Murray outside. Trains it from beyond the arc. Murray's got seven points for the quarter. Well, you know, that part of Murray's game has to be there for him, and I know how hard he's worked to improve his three-point shooting. Good to see. Pass to Rose. With the floater, he takes it up and lays it in. Guys, that time he went for the fancy finish for us there, man. That was sweet. Spurs leading by four. Murray with it. He's got nine. Rebounded by Jackson. The Pistons have gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three point play, going to the line for one. And Grant really embraces contact, relishes it, as a matter of fact. He has no fear going to the rim or going into a shot. The free throw drops for Grant. And, you know, Grant, a second-round pick, has worked hard for his minutes in the NBA. He's an exceptional athlete who plays with a real edge, a bit of a chip on his shoulder. Now, here's Aldridge. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14.5 points a game. Pass to Murray. Changes up. And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, he's so adept at finding a way to score, even against tough defense. Aldridge is a load. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot.
the free throw drops for Aldridge. You know, players like Aldridge are a little bit of a uh, diminishing breed in the NBA, a master in the low post with all sorts of ways to score in the paint. This is his first free throw of the game. one is off. Good on the second free throw. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game, because you get points, and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. The Spurs shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. Trey Lyles checked in for White. One shot. That's good from Aldridge. Here's Rose. Kicks it to Grant. Back to Rose. Five to shoot. Banked in off the glass. Rose has got six points. You didn't think Rose would back down from some contact now, did you guys? Playing with a high level of intensity. DeRozan against Rose. Lyles passes to DeRozan. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He's got 12. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. we've got a moment let's now take a look at the teams that have the most second chance points on the season the Pistons second and just having a terrific year on the offensive glass it's because everybody buys in not just the big men but even the guards are getting in on the act outside rows shoots over DeRozan Rose, no good. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot. He's oh, 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 
Well, I tell you what, DeRozan really packs a punch now. He's an explosive athlete with really good strength. I mean, he's got great size for a backcourt dominant score. Now here's Rose. He's got six to the paint. Plumley. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got his third assist on the night. A splendid pass that time by Rose. Rose against Murray. Here's Aldridge. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Boy, you've got to push Aldridge out farther. I mean, he's too big and too skilled from this area. This is his third trip to the free throw line. And just a top-notch free throw shooter this year, all the way up there at 88%. And guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. What's up? The free throw drops for Aldridge. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. To the inside. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Here's Mills. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Aldrich can't get it to go. Pistons trail by seven. It's right on the wing. Good on the three-point shot. Wright's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Now that is huge when Wright is connecting from deep. It really spreads the floor for him and his teammates. And it's DeRozan missing. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. And it's sent back by Aldridge. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. Some changes here for the Spurs. Pirtle, he is checked in for Trey Lyles. And Rudy Gay is subbed in for DeMar DeRozan. Stolen by Gay. And oh, here we go. Gay's got it. The fast break chance. And here's Mills for three. So for the Pistons, their last game, a win against Washington. A minute 42 left in the first half. Right outside. Five on the clock. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Spurs leading by four. Now Mills. It's through for a second basket. He's now two for six. I love the advantage he has from a speed standpoint. Does a great job of creating separation for that shot. Here's Griffin. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Blake Griffin is just an incredible athlete. Explosive and great balance and mobility. Powerful. A big, big guy who can flat out throw it down. And he also can pass it, too. The Pistons have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Free throw drops for Griffin. Griffin hits them both. That's a great job getting to the line here. You know, he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative. Much more aggressive here in the second. Here's Vassell. 
Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Aldridge kicks to Mills. Pass to Gay. Over right. No good from Gay. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Derek White checked in for San Antonio. Here's Hayes. No good on the triple. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. Hurdle finds Gay. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the half. Six to shoot. From outside the arc. Here's Pirtle. And the layup's good off the glass. Pirtle's got four this quarter. And Pirtle has intuitiveness on the offensive glass. He just throws himself in the mix to come up with those boards. And so it's San Antonio with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks. Tight game tonight, Dwayne. How do you break this thing open in the second half? Well, number one is we got to make sure we uh, get in a defensive disposition. You know, right now we're kind of trading buckets. We're anticipating, putting them on the foul line. So we got to play from an anticipatory style of defense, whereas we're not reacting to where they have us on our heels. Okay, thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. DeMar DeRozan putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He had 14 points, two assists. It's hard to believe that LaMarcus Aldridge started in the NBA at the age of 21. Now a decade and a half later, he's still a real talent in the league. These guys in the league are not slowing down. Kenny, I mean, you know what the best ability is? Um, let's see. How about reliability? You are so smart. Aldridge shows up every day of the time. Really smart. Well, he has a great face-up game. Most guys before when he first came into the league, they did not have. Now he's automatic from 20 feet, expanding his range to three point range as he gets older. Always reliable analysis from YouTube mugs. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. Second half of basketball upon us. He may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. A fantastic game from DeMar DeRozan so far. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Pistons, Pudley out there with Griffin. Then it's Josh Jackson. Then there's Jeremy Grant, and it's Rose in at the point. No good from Grant. And it's DeRozan with the ball for San Antonio. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And here is Murray. Johnson surveying the floor. 
Let's a floater go, and the shot is good. Johnson's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Spurs. Rose against Murray. Outside Griffin. And he lays in the alley-oop. What a find by Griffin. He's a lot more skilled as a passer than he gets credit for as far as power forwards go. He has terrific vision. Now here's White. No points in the game yet for him. Well, I tell you, that was double duty right there. He influenced the shot and then got back and cleaned the glass. Outside Rose. Back to Grant. To the middle. That shot by Griffin, no good. That's one for their first four to start the second half. The pass to Murray. It's stolen by Rhodes. And now the pass break. Griffin with the ball. It's good. This time the assist from Rhodes. Griffin's got 15. And that speed and athleticism of Griffin, a lethal combination when he's on the break. And Josh Jackson picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Okafor is checked in for Plumlee. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And you can see the mindset he has. When the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. up on top. He's covered by Rhodes. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be Murray shooting. It's on Jaleel Okafor. For San Antonio, they have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. throw good Murray you know you look at the potential Murray has and it's um, exciting quite honestly he's a um, lead guard he plays the point but he's more of a scorer than a distributor at this point now here's Rhodes six points for him yeah the defender all over he got him good there I mean that's why the shot was so far off For Detroit, they have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group. Only around 75%. Shooting two. And guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. The free throw drops for Rose. Well, I tell you what, this guy gives you everything he's got when he's out there, and that's what you love about Derrick Rose, how fierce he is as a competitor. Rose hits them both. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Pass to Aldridge. Now here's DeRozan. 14 points for him. Murray outside. Lock at six. Pass to White. Over Jackson. White. Good. Well, I like this execution coming out of the half. Solid. Three for four from the field so far. Pistons trail by seven. Outside Rose passes it to Griffin. Feeds to Grant and stolen by Aldridge. White wide open. He fires. That one bounces around and comes back out. 
I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Rose, two points, that one goes. Rose has got four points in the quarter. Hard to D Rose up any better. I mean, sometimes this guy is just impossible to stop. Outside, White. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Trailing by five. They'll be off next to Utah for a meeting with the Jams. And their road trip is only getting started as that's the second of six for them. Now here's Okafor. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Superb work from Okafor from the interior. I mean, just a tireless worker wreaking havoc in the paint. Riven against DeRozan. Oh, and the jam by DeRozan. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Now a timeout called by Detroit. You gotta like what DeMar DeRozan has done in this game. And he's just attacking the rim with force here. They need to try and deny him the ball in the paint to keep him away from the basket. A different look now for San Antonio. Turtle comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And Trey Lyles subbed in for Johnson. And Detroit with a change here, too. DeLon Wright, he's checked in for Jackson. Rose passes Okafor. And then Okafor slams it in. When your 6'11 doesn't take much for you to slam it home, Okafor, just a big guy who really can get to the rack quickly. Now here's Murray. 12 points for him. Out to White. Over to the wing. Launches a three. Detroit with the rebound. Outside Griffin. He feeds it to Okafor. And then Okafor slams it in. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. And San Antonio has possession after the basket by Detroit. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. That is a DeRozan specialty there. Draw contact, convert, and then head to the line for a freebie. Not by accident. That's his plan. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. They've knocked down plenty of mid-range jumpers in this one. That's been big for them. Yeah, and the other thing that they've done well is they've really attacked the gaps of the defense with quick, decisive drives down the lane. And that free throw good from DeRozan. Pistons trail by four. Right outside. Here's McKayla. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. For the three. He's off on that one. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. To the inside. DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down. DeRozan is a man on a mission tonight. I don't know if I've ever seen DeMar any sharper than this. He's in the post. Misses from close range. San Antonio leading by six. Vazell, the pass to Mills. Now the pass to Lyles. Stolen. Pass break Detroit. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
And, and looking now at some numbers for DeRozan, really been a key contributor over the past month. He's averaging about 19 points per, five assists, and three rebounds. And you can't help but be impressed by his numbers. You know, guys, I think he's the engine of this offense. He makes them go. Without his scoring, I think they'd be a totally Shoot different two. team. And the first one drops. The Spurs making a switch here. Gaze checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Pass to right. Mills with it. He's got six. And Jakob Pertle. He's carved himself a good chunk of rotation minutes with how he's played. Yeah, I love his game. I like his agility. I like his hands, his touch. I mean, he's a big, mobile guy. I think he's gotten to a good spot where he's dangerous in pick and roll action now, too, Greg. A solid defender. A guy like that is always going to find minutes. Here's McKaylor. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Shot clock at five. Okafor, the pass to Mikhailu. And DeRozan sends it back. Anytime DeRozan can come up for the block, gets the whole team energized. And the basket is good. Detroit with the ball. Eight-point game. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Wright finds Okafor. Jacks up a three, and Wright with the basket on the assist by Okafor. Wright's got six points. Well, I tell you, when Okafor sees a wide-open teammate, he really zips the ball over to set him up for a clean look at the bucket. Mills dishes to Gay. Spurs working the ball around now. With the fadeaway. And that one drops. He's got six. And they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from mid-range. Well, it's interesting. The defense continues to back off, expecting them to attack the rack. But they just continue to pull up and knock down those mid-range jumpers. Here's Grant. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. Man, I tell you, I love watching Grant get busy down there. I mean, his impressive leaping ability and his quick release on the shot allow him to score at a high rate down low. On its way from DeRozan for two. Here's Pirtle, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. And the Spurs lead by seven. Right, the pass to Mikhailu. A beautiful reverse layup. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. There's 39 seconds left in the third. And here's Mills from the arc. They get the rebound. And the dunk by Pirtle. Hey, look at Pirtle. Making it look easy, dropping the hammer down on the defense. Right outside. Grant down low. Covered by Lyons. Hayes up top. He gets that one. Hayes has got his second basket of the night. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Bucket is good. Check out the body control from DeRozan there, guys. I mean, clearly there's contact, but it's almost impossible to affect his shot. 
Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Spurs lead by seven and will return shortly. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. Okay. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Spurs leading by seven. Gay and Aldridge are up front. Mills out there with DeJounte Murray. And it's Johnson in at the three, the small forward. That's the San Antonio five. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Detroit. And it's sent back by Aldridge. When Aldridge is in the neighborhood, you've got to be careful shooting it. I mean, proving there that he's capable of blocking shots. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. I think one of the best ways, guys, to score in transition is that quick hitter after the first burst. Jackson with it. Picked up by Aldridge. Pass to Mikhailu. Plumley with it. And they pick up two. And it's seven points for Mason Plumley. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Mills passes to Murray. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Well, you look at that situation. He thought he could keep Murray from converting if he got physical with him. You better think again. Whitey's checked in for Patty Mills. And a switcher also for Detroit. Rose is checked in. throw good Murray just over a minute played here in the fourth outside Rose good nice job down low guys how about the ball handling by Rose there showing you a little bit of the back to the future Rose with those moves here's Gay that shot off great D that time from Griffin Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. And it's slammed in by Plumley. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he threw there, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Impeccable hook from the line since halftime. No misses yet. Uh, you can't do much better than that, guys. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for the Pistons. And so Murray nails both of them. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. 
Here's Rose. Murray with the defensive effort. Spurs leading by eight. Right looking around. Outside Aldridge. Fires the three. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. For Detroit, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. One shot. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. White inside, Jackson on him, good! Boy, on offense, White so very effective, whether it's assist or shot making, he's always making productive plays. Passes it to Plumlee. There's the dish to Rose. Double team on Rose. Lovely trying to break loose, and the shot is good. The Spurs lead has been cut to just five points on the basket from Derrick Rose. White the pass to Murray. Spurs passing it around, and the shot goes in. How about that effort from White? Total focus on the rack. Pistons trail by seven. Rose in the post. He's covered by Murray. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Spurs have gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Aldrich kicks to Gay. Murray outside. Johnson outside. Takes a three. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. And the Spurs lead by eight. You know, we know Murray's got some creativity to his passing game, but no need to be creative there. I mean, he sees the wide open man and zips it right to him. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And really, he played mistake-free basketball up to that point. That's the only time he's turned it over so far. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. Murray against Rose. Now Plumlee. Here's Griffin. No good that time. Good work defensively by Gay. And here comes White, leading the fast break. No good off the back of the rim. Pistons trail by eight. It's Jackson with the drive. San Antonio with the rebound. Aldridge has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Gay. Another shot, and it's good on the way up. Gay's got the lead up to 10 now for the Spurs. Boy, Gay doing a nice job to corral that rebound. A sneaky good play there. He corralled it and finished it. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saves the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. DeMar DeRozan. He's checked in for San Antonio. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And here is Murray. The pass to DeRozan. Back to Murray. Yeah. 
and it's sent back by Plumley. Second chance shot, and it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Here's Aldridge. Pistons trail by eight. Rose kicks to Plumley. Back to Rose. Grant outside. Pass to Jackson. Just five to shoot. Shoots over White. That one a little long. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Johnson's shot is off. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. Rose kicks to Grant. Pass to Jackson. Looking to end his cold spell. And he lays it up and in. Only the one made basket in the fourth. He hasn't provided them with a whole lot offensively. Passes to DeRozan. Shoots over Griffin. San Antonio again missing. Pistons trail by six. Jackson kicks to Plumley. And there's the pass to Grant. Pass to Rose. The Pistons working the ball around now. They get it back. Plumley. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Here's to Rosen. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. The Pistons have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Double team on Rose and stolen by Aldridge. And even three on three break. Here's White. An easy two points on the layup. Outstanding play by White that time. He just took off and got up and down in a heartbeat. Rose against Murray. Rose in the post. Griffin trying to get open. Rose can't hit. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. And the rejection by Jackson. Now here's Rose. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's on LaMarcus Aldridge. And that's just strong, tough action from Rose there. Staying in control and getting the job done with authority. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw drops for Rose. And you really can't say enough about his composure in the big moments, as cool as they come. To Rosen against Griffin. From 18 feet away. And Griffin sends it back. And now the Pistons fast break. Count it. Now it's just a three-point Spurs lead. And you can see how the team rallies around Griffin in these situations. And their faith is not misplaced. He plays with such heart. DeRozan with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. And so it's Rose bringing it up for the Pistons. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. A primary score for his team. Griffin also has a knack for drawing fouls on the way up. Shoot two.
drops the first one, and that brings them within two here. And hits them both. 133 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Griffin against DeRozan. And it's sent back by Plumley. And now the fast break. Griffin with the ball. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. San Antonio's gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. DeRozan surveying the D. Aldridge, no one around him. Here's Murray. Got it. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. There's 53 seconds left to play in the final quarter. they're playing at half speed it's been total domination and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance okay well let's go down to david aldridge for a report from the sideline thanks guys i got a chance to hear Dwayne casey talk to his team this game is obviously close could go either way and he wanted to make sure that his guys were all on the same page and were all staying with the game plan in order to close this one out kevin Outside Jackson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Man, I love this kid's motor. Josh Jackson works hard all the time, but especially in the paint. Really gets after it and able to draw the foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two up. It's the first one, and that brings them within two here. You know, when I saw Jackson back in college, I thought he was the best two-way player in the country. I mean, he's athletic, he's confident, he's aggressive. Man, he plays with the verve that you like to see a guy play with. All free throws good from Jackson. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possession. DeRozan passes to all. Help! It's absolutely scary, frightening when Aldridge starts lighting it up like this. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. 27 seconds left in the fourth. Yeah. 
And the Pistons with possession here. They trail by three. Offensive rebound. And it's sent back by Aldridge. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, you got to foul. I mean, it's going to come down the free throws here. Foul right away. And an intentional foul right there. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. It didn't take long for White to distinguish himself in the league. He's a really good ball handler, and he's got some good moves, too. Second one is good. In both at the line, and it's a five-point game. And thanks to his good work at the line there, now we have a two-possession ball game. Rose kicks to Jackson. But they get it back. And that's a good job of just getting after it on the backboard. Gets them another possession and allows them to run even more clock. Man, I so appreciate Jackson's commanding presence. There's an aura about this kid, especially when the game's on the line. He's looking to step center stage. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're leading by two. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. At the one for two. Gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he is unable to get the second one. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. You don't want to force it, though. Still need to get a quality look. And so it's San Antonio who's straight by with the win. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Damar, big effort tonight. What is the state of mind of this club right now? We focus in in on the defensive end. We know if we get stopped, so we can definitely score whenever we want. And you got it done tonight, Damar. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks.
For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long.